Hello, thanks for joining me for another beer review then. So today we've got our beer from Cloudwater up in Manchester of course. And as you can see, happy birthday. They're in Hans Pale Ale, coming in at 3.5% ABV. Um, yeah, it's their 8th birthday just recently. So um, many happy returns to the guys up there um, in Manchester. Uh, what Ray Round that's actually saying there, but yeah, quality craft beer from Manchester. So um, it says danker, punchier, and hoppier. Because I think they've got a beer called Happy, which I think is part of their core range parallel. So um, I think this is just a, a slightly amped up version of that, for, you know, can, for their um, birthday celebrations. Part one of four beers that I'll be reviewing. Um, I don't know if I'll get them all through tonight, but I'll, I'll maybe one or two I'll get through tonight, and then um, I'll post them, you know, as and when kind of deal. So I've had this beer on cask recently uh, at the Royston in Broadstairs. So if you're ever around that that neck of the woods, the Royston is very very close to Broadstairs train station, literally two minute walk. So just across the road. Um, so where I incidentally purchased this can, so uh, and the other three. Are, Incidentally, so yeah, had this on cask. So let's go and give it a try from the can. So a nice, nice start to proceedings. Then a three point five, um, New England hazy. Um, I'd imagine in America, um, you're probably getting some table beers around this kind of ABV. So, but yeah, nice easy going looking beer. No need to worry about the ABV or anything like that. It didn't really pour much of a head, half a finger of white head, on top of a nice kind of orangey haze. Into the light then. Um, it's actually quite dense, I'd say, for, for the um, the ABV, etc. So I don't know what ratio they've, you know, they've used any oats in this, etc. But we'll get into that in a minute. Um, it does say on, on the can, but we'll pour the rest of the can out, then we'll check the, the can for any more sort of details. So... Let's get a nose on this one then. So, and again, happy birthday to uh, to Cloudwater. <sighs> wow. I mean, considering the ABV, the aroma on this beer is absolutely crazy. I'm getting like almost like um, yeah, like melon. It's kind of soft tinned. Hailstone fruit tinned kind of deal. Remind me of like pear a little bit. Peachy. A touch of mango, but not overpowering. Very subtle, very delicate kind of aroma. Very nice though, playing its part nice. Such a grapefruit in there. Really nice, nice juicy, zesty orange. Maybe a touch of lemon. Oh, it smells absolutely lovely, so let's give this one a try. So, cheers. Mm hmm. Wow, it's got a really nice, zesty. Zesty lemon, orange, kind of citrusy vibe. Leave a little bit of lace in there on the glass. Wow, the residual flavours on the palate are popping. Mm. Slightly dank, it's saying that on the can, and you're definitely getting that. And there is a slight dankness, at, but this ABV is pretty impressive. Um, I don't know what hops are in this. It's not actually saying. I'm quite intrigued. Um, uh, I don't know the ingredients. Uh, the allergens: gluten, wheat, barley, oats. Um, it doesn't really say anything else, to be honest with you. And there's not a lot of other information about the beer on Untapped. So. Um, Um, so, canned on date was the 27th of January, 
uh, and then best before the end of the 27th of July of 2023. I guess this is goal number 1443. Um, not much else. Very, very kind of um, sparse on information on this one. I'm sure if you if you want to, you can go ahead and. Uh, I'm just checking the other beer here so just to see if what it doesn't actually tell you what what uh, hops are in this, which is um, okay. Maybe I'll do a bit of homework for the next one, but yeah, does not state what hops are in this. I'd imagine certainly Citra. Maybe a touch of mosaic in there as well. They're the two kind of safer bets, but there could be something else in here. I'd say the nice bit of dankness there. Um, definitely kind of a, I don't know if it's um, honeydew melon, there's a slight sweetness as well. Maybe a touch of pine dryness towards the back end, but I mean, the crazy thing about this beer, as I say, it's 3.5% and it's just drinking like an IPA. Um, it's got a, it's got a, like a medium body on it. It's got a, it packs a, a, a nice amount of punch with the flavours and aromas. It's a damn tasty beer, damn tasty beer, as you would expect from these guys. So, uh, so yeah, uh, Cloudwater then out of Manchester, knocking out of the park again. Um, so this is that happy birthday. The first of four beers that I will be reviewing on the channel in the coming weeks. Um, so yeah, an enhanced pale ale. Eight years old already, eh? Oh, dear me, craziness. So yeah, uh, out of Manchester, go and check them out if you haven't before. They're on um, quite a lot of, um, if you're in the UK at least, um, fairly kind of easy to get hold of these beers if you go online etc. Most online retailers will stop them. Anyway, let me know if I've had this one before, um, or any of the other birthday beers, and I'll look forward to your comments, and I'll see you on the next review. Cheers.